So to people that know that don't know, this is Kelvin Tiller. He is a PFL veteran, and I believe next week you are fighting Marcelo Gol. So, Kelvin, obviously, well, you've had um your last three fights. You've had um been on a three fight losing streak. What have you changed going into your next fight? Uh, uh, I, I don't. I can't say I changed too much. I've been working a lot of wrestling, uh, which is my downfall. Uh, just a lack of wrestling partners, uh, training partners from where I'm at back in Kansas. So uh, I just got some big guys in, and uh, yeah, just add, just really try to add that um, that wrestling background, more of the wrestling. I can wrestle. I'd say just a lack of training partners and everything. So I brought some wrestlers in. Been doing it lately for about a year now. Who are you training with for this fight? Uh, just local guys. Just local wrestlers from high schools and uh, no big names. Um, your size? Yes. Okay, cool. So what threats does Marcelo Gom present you? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a fight. You know, anybody can get knocked out. Do I look at his fights and see anything spectacular? No, uh, I'll be lying if I say I did. Uh, you know, we're heavyweights. Anybody can get knocked out at any given moment. So I don't really see no threat like jujitsu or wrestling or stand up over anything else. It, it's a fight anybody can lose. Obviously, your last win was by submission. Would you say you're looking for more of a knockout or are you going to try and maybe play with the ground game a bit? Oh, yeah, I don't mind the ground game. If you look at my record and look at some of the people that I've submitted, I've submitted some good people. Uh, if you ever looked at my fights or did any studying, yeah, I can wrestle. Uh, my jiu-jitsu my jiu is just as good as anyone's, if not better. Uh, so I'm I'm okay wherever the fight goes. Do you plan to stay in Bellator if you get a win? Or are you going to go move somewhere else, maybe? Uh, I stay in the place. I, I, yes, Bellator. I, I plan on staying there. I've always uh, liked Bellator. I was with Bellator a very long time ago. Yeah, I saw you beat um, Dan Spawn, who's a PFL veteran right now, in Bellator. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What does getting this win mean for your career? Uh, just to get back into the win column, you know, just to get back into the talks of, uh, you know, top rank heavyweights. Um, as far as that, that's really it. You know, uh, just my my kids can see me win. They hate to see me lose. They hate to see me, you know, bloody. I've only been really bloody, bloody one fight, but. My oldest son was there when he seen that fight and he didn't like it there. So it would be nice to get a win just for my kids' sake, just so they can see me get my hand raised. What were your highlights, would you say, from your tenure in the PFL? Say that again, I'm sorry. What were your highlights, would you say, of like what you did in the PFL? What would you say your highlights were? Uh, probably my submission over Jared Rochelle. Uh, that would be probably my biggest one. I know everybody talk about the knockout. A lot of my friends, my fans, is people talk about the knockout I got at Madison Square Garden. Uh, but for me to fight a wrestler on his caliber, and I was 6-2 in the UFC, uh, and to submit him in the way that I submitted him, uh, that was probably my highlight for PFL. That was quite an impressive win. And obviously you had three fights after that. You had two fights after. They didn't go your way, but still it's a good win to have. So, what would you say your hardest yeah. fight in the PFL was? Or in general? Probably Ali. Uh, I don't know his last name. My last fight in the PFL. Uh, mm. I'm, I feel like I've never felt uh, fought anybody strong as me. And he was the first time I've ever fought someone that I felt was just just stronger. Uh, Dennis Gosef, uh, he was my – I lost to him. He was never strong. He was beating me to the jab. Uh, there was a lot of things that went into that camp, but as far as strong, I didn't, I didn't feel it from him. Even Jared Rocho, he was just came in better shape than me. Uh, he was beating me to the transitions when I was trying to get up. Uh, I never felt that he was strong. 
but but Ali, he was just incredibly strong. And uh, he hit hard. You know, like I said, I've never really been hit hard before. Even like with Gosef, he was catching with the jab. You know, I was in some trouble. But uh, I think it was just perfect placement from his jab where he was hitting with. I never felt in trouble. I looked at the video, but I've never really felt like, oh, this guy hits really hard. You know, he was just he was just fast. Uh, so I have to say Ali. How and what round do you reckon you will finish gone? Oh, uh, I honestly couldn't couldn't say what round I'll finish him finish him in. I've always been a fighter to just let the fight flow, and if you give me the knockout, a submission, or a three round fight, I'll I'll take whatever. When you get a win, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a ranked Bellator heavyweight, or are you just gonna whatever happens happens? I will for sure look for a ranked heavyweight because. I do believe that I'm on the level with the best in the world when I'm at my best. Um, after this, once I win, I plan on moving to Vegas um, and start my training out there to be with the best of the best. And uh, I honestly believe I'll be able to take on anybody in the world after this. Is UFC the end goal for you? I think most people would be lying if they say they don't want to be in the UFC. Um, I would like to just have one UFC fight in, in, in my career just to say I fought in the UFC. Uh, but, you know, my, my goal is to take care of my family. My goal is to make money and and, cont- and make start more businesses, you know. So if Bellator is going to pay me that money, I'm going to stay with Bellator. Well, anyway, Kelvin, we're going to end this soon. But anything you'd like to say to your fans before we wrap up? Oh, uh, I'm back. I'm 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 finally back. Even though I'm on a three fight losing streak. Uh, expect to uh, to see some things, some some of these swinging and uh some excitement. That's about it, man. Well, Kelvin, I wish you the best for next weekend. And hopefully you can pull it off. So thank you for thank coming on. Thank you very on. much. It's all right. So thank Thanks you, man. For having me.